in a minute. Back back across the sky, get a closet visit. Dabs keeping dank all in it. Hydro split splash, jump right in it, I'm twisted. Ain't been this high yet for a minute. Back back across the sky, get a closet visit. Dab keeping dank. Thanks for rolling up. I'm too blue Marley. This is certified pothead. I'm sparking up one of my uh, evening splits. You know we about to do BC. We about to uh get into these uh, cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theory. This one is about Noah's art. We all know the tale. Two of every animal, forty days of rain, and the giant wooden boat just somehow fits a whole zoo in it. But what if Noah's Ark didn't just save the animal kingdom? What if he saved something else on there, bro? A plant. A plant that would go on to shape human civilization for millennia. Could it be possible that Noah also preserved cannabis, the unsung hero of the ancient world, and perhaps humanity's first crop after the Great Flood? Alright, I know what you're thinking, right? This sounds wild, but bear with me. As improbable as, improbable as it is, once you start digging into the details, it doesn't seem that crazy. Or maybe I'm just really smoked in. Nothing seems crazy to me. Either way, let's explore this with the open mind and see see where we end up at. So like, we, we're going to walk the walk and see what's at the end of the stride. All right, so Noah's loading up two of every animal, right? A pair of giraffe here, some sheep there, and of course, the elephants who always take up way much more space than they need to. Now imagine the chaos. Noah's wrangling a literal zoo, but between the tigers and tortoises, does he really have time to think? You know what we're missing? A little dank, bruh. But think about it, right? He's in crisis mode. He probably got a headache bigger than the ark itself, but hear me out, right? Cannabis wasn't just a plant in ancient times. It was like the Swiss Army knife of flora. You need a rope? You got some cannabis. You need clothes? Get some cannabis. You hungry? Get some cannabis. Cannabis does a little bit of everything. So why wouldn't he take cannabis along? I'm a tool that helps you steer. I keep you straight and keep you clear. With me, you'll sail a steady route. Without me, you'll spin about. What am I? Whether cannabis was used for practical uses or medicinal benefits, in the ancient times, cannabis was indispensable. And it could have been important enough for Noah to stash a few seeds on that boat as the rain started to come in. I'm going to be editing shit out of this. All right, so now we're getting into deeper territory. Was Noah just some guy with the love for multi-purpose plants? Or was he also thinking about the sacred nature of cannabis? The ancient world didn't just use cannabis because it made great rope. It was deeply tied into their spiritual practices. I mean, some scholars think that Hebrew priests may have used cannabis in their religious rituals. That's right. Burning incense could have had a whole different vibe back then. Could Noah, knowing the spiritual significance of the plant, have added it? to his cargo for his deeper more, more mystical purposes maybe it wasn't a survival tool it might have been his way of ensuring a divine connection post flood here's another word i have no wings but i can fly i have no roots but i float by with wind at my back i glide with ease who am i across the seas let's fast forward to go after the flood noah's ark lands and everybody's probably a bit dazed from being cooped up so long What's the first thing they plant? Surely something useful, right? Grain for food or vegetables to feed the family. But what if though, right? Noah thought, let's start to oh, a bit more versatile. Enter cannabis. This plant grows like it's got something to prove. It's tough, it's fast. It can pretty much grow in any condition that would make lesser plants pack up and quit. Cannabis could have swept through the ancient post-flood life rapidly, spreading and becoming an essential part a civilization while noah and his crew rebuilt the world this resilient plant might have been at the forefront growing stronger and faster than any other here's another riddle for you i whistle in the night i roar with all my might i am feared by sellers bold but when i rise their course i fold all right here's where the uh theory kind of takes a left turn ancient cultures didn't just see cannabis as a useful plant they thought it was a way to connect with the divine some people think that the anointing oil used in the early Hebrew rituals might have included cannabis. Picture Noah, post-flood, sitting on a hilltop thinking, I've saved the world. How do I make sure we stay connected with God? Maybe he figured a little cannabis will help with that. I mean, he's been through a lot. Divine mention 
divine mission, massive flood, dealing with a bunch of squawking animals. The guy could have probably used some chill out time. And maybe a little bit of cannabis was just what he needed to keep in line or keep the line that got open. Think of it like Noah's divine hotline, except instead of like fiber octave cables, it's a plant with a bunch of spiritual potential. The influence of cannabis may be vast, endless, and deep. Could Noah have saved this plant not just for survival, but for spiritual and practical reasons? Here's one more riddle. I stretch out far with endless blue. No edges or walls to trap you. I am the seller's greatest friend, but in my depths, all things must end. <laughs> more I dive into this theory, the more I start thinking. Maybe, just maybe, Noah was on to something. If who am I to question a guy who built the earth? The answer to the riddles, a sailboat, a storm, and the ocean. I'll catch you on the next one, bro.